Big news of a Dogecoin Ethereum connection that could potentially change up the entire cryptocurrency game forever. This coming as we're seeing a pretty dang week for cryptocurrency altogether. Bitcoin right now still of course at the top with a market cap of $700 billion, a heck of a lot of money. The entire market cap of crypto is now up back again to $1.7 trillion, going as high as $2.5 trillion for a short period of time and all the way back down even lower than this for another short period of time, coming back up some from there though. Bitcoin in the last 24 hours down 0.84%. A lot of people were getting on Elon for his breaking up with Bitcoin meme. But since all of that fuss, Bitcoin has kind of come back to where it was before, not even falling that much in the last 24 hours and still up 2.9% this week. As we're also seeing Dogecoin right here up 0.13% today and up 22% this week. One of the biggest gainers for all of cryptocurrency this entire week. Part of that was from the Coinbase Pro listing and part of that is likely still coming from the actual Coinbase listing itself. Very disappointed to some degree that Coinbase announced it the way they did. I didn't really like that. And so some of the suspicions that maybe Coinbase was waiting to add Doge because they didn't really like this or that about it may have been confirmed slightly by the way they handled this. They should have actually announced it was going to happen five days from now and then done it like that. But instead they just said, okay, here it is. We're here right now. And there's two possibilities. Either they did that on purpose because they have never really taken Dogecoin seriously or they didn't do it on purpose and they just have this new technique for releasing cryptos now that involves doing it on the same day. Perhaps they're trying to avoid too much volatility because oftentimes we have seen it going up then coming back down a decent amount. So it's possible that could be the case as well. I guess right now the best thing to do is give Coinbase the benefit of the doubt, especially considering the fact they've been tweeting a lot of positive things about Dogecoin and they also changed their username on Twitter to accepting Doge soon for a period of time. So we'll give them the benefit of the doubt for now and just say maybe they didn't realize that they weren't doing this the way that could have actually help Dogecoin more. But uh, you know, it is what it is. That's what I said in the last live and that's how I still feel about it now. We're just gonna have to continue watching and see what they do on the next one. That'll give us a better idea of what this means. And also we do know a lot of that run up is still coming. Most of the spikeage after being out on Coinbase does not happen immediately. It happens after a little bit of a drop on the day and then kind of goes up more over time as more big things happening. The next big run we have with Bitcoin, we will likely see Dogecoin taking a huge chunk of that as well even more so than before, now that it has more access to more people. Ethereum, number two, and that's one we're about to talk about a lot right now, up 9% this week, Binance Coin up 20% this week, Tether, of course, it's up 0.000000000%, a massive, massive, massive week for Ethereum, going all the way up to $1, incredible, absolutely outstanding, then Cardano, Cardano up 13%, Dogecoin, like we said, up 20%, XRP up 6%, Polkadot up 18%, USD Coin, like Tether, I mean, it's also going to a dollar, pretty impressive. Uniswap 27, Internet Computer 111. Internet Computer, actually one of the only cryptos that's down more than 4% this week. Most of the top ones up. Internet Computer, though, after going up an insane amount in the first day after being added, the likes of which we've never seen before, has fallen some. A lot of that was big investors coming in. In theory, a lot of those must have pulled out at this point because you can't really track where they're coming in and where they're coming out, but there's no way it could have fallen this far without some of those big investors potentially pulling the rug on it. Not cool what they did there, but like similar to with Coinbase though, we, we probably do have to give them the benefit of the doubt there. Maybe it wasn't actually that. Maybe it was the additional people who came in on top of that and a lot of the big investors are still in it. So who really knows? It's tough to know for sure. I do like internet computer, what it accomplishes in terms of use case, in terms of making the internet more decentralized and giving people a bigger platform. But there's still a lot of use cases that need to actually improve on for that to be a viable solution or a viable option moving forward. It's not happening yet, but it probably will. I mean, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. And that comes as Elon Musk is stirring up a lot of trouble. The Bitcoin bees are a buzzing after Elon Musk comes in. And keep in mind, I have Bitcoin. I like Bitcoin. I just wouldn't consider myself a Bitcoin maxi, at least not at this current point in time, because we know that the other altcoins have a much higher chance of bigger percentage gains right now, since they are smaller in terms of market cap based on where they can be in the future. As we have a chat coming in, help anonymous Doge holder. We need his stream. Interesting. From Slick Doge. I don't even know who that is. What happened to him? Did he get taken down or something? If he did, we will definitely, I'll definitely reach out to him and we'll see what we can do. I don't even know. I've never seen his, his stuff before, but the truth is that a lot of these companies that are involved in big tech and things like that, 
they really do need to get better about giving everyone a platform. It doesn't matter what you think or what you believe, you should be allowed to have a voice and people can decide who they want to listen to. You don't need to decide for anyone. People can make that decision themselves. I think the majority of people agree with that. And yet for some reason, that's not always what happens. It should change in the future though. Maybe internet computer token could have a percentage of that help there, but who knows what we're gonna see. As we are also seeing Bitcoin falls after Elon Musk tweets break up. I mean, well, it hasn't fallen that much. It has fallen some. Elon Musk also changed his profile picture back to the Bitcoin anime girl. We were hoping he would change it to the Dogecoin anime girl. Unfortunately, he, he hasn't done that yet. Maybe he will at some point. He probably will. But he understands the importance of Canada, USA, Mexico right now. Very, very important. He's Canada, US, USA, Mexico all, all day long, every single day, of course. That, that's, that's the important thing there. Miami looking to be the next crypto hotspot, hosts huge Bitcoin event. That's going on right now. A lot of people are there showing up for that. And it did take time to build up to the amount of people they have now. The first one, I'm not sure if that was super successful, um, but this one's getting more successful now. Vitalik Buterin. Now here's the big news of the show. This is massive coming in. Vitalik Buterin, one of the co-founders of Ethereum, Charles Hoskinson, also a co-founder, now moving on more so to Cardano now. But Vitalik is one of the smartest people in the world, one of the best programmers, the best coders, and he has said a couple of things about Doge in the past that were incorrect. But overall, he's still been a pretty big supporter of Dogecoin, posing multiple times with a Dogecoin shirt on and saying positive things about Doge. Now coming in with a big interview where he was asked specifically about Doge and Ethereum connecting together, and he said he would like to see that happen in the future. He is someone who can, of course, make that happen, being one of the main people behind Ethereum and still working on it. Because of that, I think we're going to see a lot of big things with Ethereum and Dogecoin already. That connection is starting to form. It's already happening. They're already merging to some degree to make a super, a super a cryptocurrency in a way, per se. And with that, we're also going to likely see Vitalik doing some more things to help Dogecoin moving forward. He already has more money than he could ever possibly imagine. So much so to the point where he literally had $7 billion approximately through Shiba Inu token that he could have just held on to. He could have just kept it. He could have withdrawn it from Shiba Inu token legally, and he would have $7 billion that he could then do anything he wanted with. You could buy two giant cruise ships easily and still have a bunch left over to buy a bunch of hotels. Literally anything you wanted, you could buy with $7 billion. You could change the world. You could run an entire campaign doing this or that or that, whatever the heck. And instead of doing that, he decided to burn those tokens, most of them. He did give $1 billion to charity, which I thought he should have let people know for first before doing that. But still though, that's pretty dang admirable to have access to that much power, that much resources, and then to just say, okay, you know what? I have enough. I'm already happy where I am. I just want to make the world a better place. I love that. I think that's great. I, I and Like we said, we have a little problem with one of the things he did, but that doesn't change the fact that overall he's a great person. And uh, I think that's important. Whenever someone does one bad thing, don't let that overshadow the overall positive things they've done if they have done more positive than negative, which is the case with a lot of people. I told y'all Matt was with us. Please help anonymous Doge holder to the moon. Yeah, of course. I, I'm happy Happy to help. I don't think I don't think anyone should be taken down off a platform like that. And even though I don't know who that is, I'll definitely I'll definitely look into it after the show. Alex Pintos coming in with the chat. And I have I have in the past helped multiple people get back up when it comes to Twitter with It's All Risky being taken down. We started an entire bring It's All Risky back campaign, hashtag campaign. So we're always, of course, anyone in the Dogecoin community who needs help or is taken down, we will do everything in our power to get them back up. We want as many voices as possible. This is the original Dogecoin YouTube channel, the first Dogecoin influencer of all time. And uh, we've been working super, super hard on it since the beginning. And it's been so cool to see more people coming in and we want that to continue happening. More influencers coming in, more people talking about on Twitter and YouTube and everywhere. That's really how we're gonna take Dogecoin to the next level. Speaking of that, make sure you press the like button on this video because taking Dogecoin to the next level is not easy to do. It takes work, it takes time. And one thing you can do that's not easy to do at all, it's extremely difficult, is press the like button. I know it's not easy. It takes time and effort and energy. Maybe you have to work out in order to get strong enough to do it. But if we can get everyone to press like button, it will help us go to more people. So take a second and just do that really fast. I'm getting to send Doge two times. Also, someone, oh, I see someone said final stand. You think that Doge will drop before going to the moon? I, I don't think it'll drop too much further, to be honest. I mean, it's possible it could. I, I don't see it happening though, just because right now it's a multitude of 10 times right before where the previous bottom was after the last spike. And I already made a video going into more detail on that. Basically, we saw at around uh, 10,000 versus 30,000 for Bitcoin, then going back down, or no, it was at around 1,000, then it went up to like 30,000, then it went back down to 10,000. 
And then it went up to 60,000, then went back down to 30,000. And so you start to look at the actual numbers behind it. And it, we could be toward the bottom of this current cryptocurrency dip that may be likely about to turn around and go into a bull market soon. Bitboy Crypto said he thinks we have approximately six weeks left of the bull market. And I, I disagree with his reasoning behind that specifically, even though generally he's had some good predictions. And that's simply because there's no evidence in my in my opinion that this was exactly six weeks i don't think you can predict it to that level of accuracy and he also in the past he did say he did say that he thought it was going to crash on that memorial day weekend which wasn't that long ago i think that was like last weekend right and uh, he, it didn't happen a bunch of youtubers a bunch of crypto people and of course we love bitboy i've been on his show multiple times he's come on my show we've had fun but i still will when i think people are wrong in the cryptocurrency space we'll say that we won't be personal about it we'll just say specifically why with the facts and logic why we don't think they are correct there vaccine magnet test coming in. oh that's interesting yeah i i that's that's not real that's don't worry that's not real it's easier to get chill when doge drops since we see it that it keeps coming back i'm approaching 2x of initial invest seven weeks ago that's with mistakes nice okay coming in from not a bootlicker i like your name welcome to silver as well patrick coming in and seven billion dollars could have fed many families worldwide now, one way to look at that is it's about resources. So there's a certain amount of food that gets made every single week. That food is going to go to someone. So if you spend a lot of money buying food to feed someone, well, it's not going to make there be more food magically. I mean, in theory, you could set that up. It would take time and effort and energy to set that up. But you can't just use money to make there magically be more food that appears. So if it goes to someone, then it'll be going away from someone else. So that's just one thing to consider. But yes, you're right. It can be used for things like that. But just the, simply the fact that it was burned. Now people, if they want to, can take their money out of Shiba Inu token if they want, and then they can put that into something else. So it's burned, but it's still in the hands of the people. And instead of Vitalik getting to decide where the charity money goes to, now the individual people who own it can decide if they want to do it. And most people do donate to charity. A ton of people do. So it's still, a lot of that money still is going to go to charity. It's just going to be individual people making decision rather than one person making decision for them, which I think makes sense. Upgrading membership to bronze coming in from Patrick Moore. That's awesome to see. Coming in, upgrading the level. Now you're on another level. That would be called a gardening. <laughs> When am I able to switch my Doge from Robinhood to Coinbase? We'll, we'll talk more about that soon. I believe there's going to be a bridge that opens up not too long from now, and you can go across the bridge, and if there's not a troll underneath, then you're good to go, and you can go all the way across. But also, let's go back to talking about Vitalik a little bit here, because because he has he's given up that much money, it shows he doesn't really care about the money super super much. And so I think he's going to be able to put more time into Dogecoin. He's not trying to get Ethereum to beat Dogecoin. He just wants to make the world better when it comes to cryptocurrency, and he loves Dogecoin. He's still holding a lot of Doge. He said so. He ho He's holding a heck of a lot of it, and he loves it. So I think he's going to continue to work on Ethereum, but also help with, with Dogecoin more, making it better. Elon Musk's plan is to make it more than 100 times better than what it currently is. And Ethereum, with the connection between Doge and Ethereum, we could see potentially as many as 1,000 transactions per second on the Dogecoin train, or even significantly more than that with new integrations into the future. And that's one of the things that Vitalik talked about on his video. And yes, that's kind of complicated, but really all that matters at the end of the day, it'll just make it easier to use Dogecoin. I mean, the specific number is kind of boring to talk about, to be honest, but it will make Dogecoin better. That's that's really all that we have to remember after that statement is, is said and done. Um, also, we haven't seen meet the Daymax Spiritus, the world's first EV that mines cryptocurrency. This is what the heck it looks like. It looks kind of like a golf cart a little bit, but a little bit different. Maybe like something from a movie. Tron, are you there? <laughs> Where are you, Tron? And uh, it has three wheels. The back one is is directly in the middle, of course. And then the front two are like a normal car kind of, but it's very, very, very small. And they have a whole line of these that they're putting out. The best part about it, in my opinion, is the fact that it can mine cryptocurrency. I think that's awesome. But besides that, I don't know if I'd want to drive a car that small. I'll be a little bit worried. But if they make bigger ones, maybe we could be interested in that. I looked into buying one uh, just simply because it'd be cool to review for the channel and also have, and I could always sell it if I wanted to. If you own one or if you know someone who does, contact me. I may want to make a video on it and uh, we could do that for sure. But so they are taking pre-orders apparently now on their website, but it's not going to be coming out until I believe 2023 to 2025. There's a whole entire two year range of when it could happen. It's extremely difficult to actually produce a car and make it. So that's why it's taking so long with that. And the cost of it is going to be approximately $20,000 at the bottom, as high as 149,000 toward the very, very, very top. So cheaper than Tesla, but also more expensive if you want more specs into it. Kind of interesting to see another car company trying to compete with that. And Tesla, get your hack together. 
together. We're waiting for Ethereum, a Bitcoin, a Dogecoin mining to come through your Tesla computers. I think it's coming. It's only a matter of time. But in the meantime, we're just gonna have to continue to do this. Jack Dorsey is well saying on Bitcoin, I don't think there's anything more important in my life to work on. And Jack has been in some controversy lately about the same exact thing we just talked about with with w whether people have voices or not. He's been in some controversy with that, but it is cool to see him coming out and saying that he wants to work on cryptocurrency. I would like to see Jack focusing on Dogecoin, other altcoins as well, besides just Bitcoin. He has Bitcoin in his bio. Also, Twitter has a little nice thing, a little nice logo by the Bitcoin hashtag, but they do not have one by any other cryptocurrency yet. And that should change. We're waiting for our Dogecoin logo. It should be coming soon. Dogecoin now the most popular cryptocurrency in Twitter history. So I don't know why it's taking so long with that. We need to go ahead and get it. Maybe, maybe Jack is just more focused on Bitcoin than any other crypto, but I hope that changes and it certainly could because there's no reason for it not to. You can support Bitcoin and also support Dogecoin and other altcoins as well. You can, you can definitely support both. And just like we have we have the, the Wall Street. I mean, the Molly Fool. I mean, they're coming in with another bad article like this. It's just silly. I mean, don't don't listen to the Molly Fool. If they they just keep doing all these weird anti Dogecoin articles, it's ridiculous. But thank you, Monty, for the chat. Anyway, I'm Matt Wasp. Make sure you subscribe with the notifications on. Come join the channel, and I will see you in the next video.